Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to Q&A number four. Today we'll be answering 16 of your guys' questions. I appreciate everybody who asks questions and I do apologize if your question is not answered in this Q&A, but I can guarantee that it will be answered in a future Q&A. Now, I do apologize though that it will not be maybe for a next couple Q&As just because I have at least 40 questions and that is absolutely amazing. I never thought that I'd ever be able to get that many questions so I really do appreciate everybody who asked. So it may come down in the next Q&A number 6, I'm not really sure yet. But I do plan on doing a few more questions for Q&A 5 than I usually do. Normally my Q&As are between 15 and 18 questions and maybe for Q&A 5 because it's the 5th one I will do 25 to 30 but it may become later in the September month but I do plan on getting it out in September. And this is kind of starting my 1000 subscribers specials. Uh, this will be one of the specials, uh, it's not really that much of a special but we'll yeah, it's kind of a special and uh, there will be more specials down the line. I just need to work on them. I want to make sure they're the best they can be. Now, uh, I do apologize. I know some people commented in the past week saying, I have a few questions for your next Q&A. And I replied to them saying, thank you very much for your questions, but I cannot guarantee that those questions will be in the next Q&A. And um, I was just saying because I have so many questions that I kind of chose them a little bit in the past, so I'm sorry if those people who just recently asked their questions are not in this Q&A. It's just because I chose it a while back, and I again, as I said, I have so many questions, but I really do appreciate your questions and continue to ask them. One thing, though, about your commenting that is very concerning to me, which um, is the fact that usually I get emailed when someone comments on my video, an email notification. And uh, it may be a lot sometimes, but I work with it, and it's so I I like it so I can answer everybody's or like you know reply to everybody's comments. But unfortunately, my past video on Bessie, I did not get any emails at all for comments, and uh, quite disappointing in my opinion. I looked at my emails when I was uh, just getting out of school, and I was saw that no emails. And I thought. Wow, I must have no one comment on it yet, but then I checked the video out and there's like five comments I did not get an email for any one of those. So, for the time being, I might not answer or reply to your comment if it's on a video a few months ago or far into the past. Because I'll be checking daily on my recent uploads if any new comments showed up. But I, I can't promise I'll reply to your comment if it's on a video that I've done pretty far into the past or maybe a few months ago just because I can't check every single video I made for a new comments unfortunately. Now I'll try to fix that. I did ask somebody and I hope I can get this fixed because I really hate that I don't get email notifications for your comments and I really hope that I can get this fixed as I said because I want to be able to reply to all your comments I because this is what um, you know my, my YouTube channel is all about. I believe that I wouldn't be anywhere without your fans and you guys deserve the respect of me replying to your comments. So I really hope I could get that working, but I'll definitely be able to reply to your comments on my new videos and uh, if you commented on a video like a few days ago. So just to let you guys know that, and one more thing about my Planes 2016 Case B unboxing, unfortunately that will not be an unboxing, that will be just a regular video just like 2016 Planes Case A. And it's because I uh, bought them off Amazon and the links are on my Google Plus community. You can check that out. And um, I cannot do a case unboxing because my supplier uh, did not get any cases in. And the person doesn't even know if they will get cases in as they think that Mattel sold them all to other retailers. So unfortunately, that's a problem. But, you know, it is what it is. I'll still be reviewing every single new plane. So that will be pretty cool. So now let's jump into the Q&A. all that rambling, but now let's get into the questions. And just to let you guys know, this background that we have here is the normal background with Tomater's Junkyard custom made to me by Got Frank. And I could go into another topic about the whole buildings of Radiator Springs because Mattel is actually planning to release all of them in a precision series, but that is a topic for another video, I guess. And what we have in front of us here are some of the RVs that have been released. Convoy Brothers here on the right, Doug RM recently released Albert Hinky, 
Larry Camper, who's also a fairly recent release. He's the D23 exclusive, if you guys don't know, and that is Al uh, Elvis all to the left. So now let's start answering some of your guys' questions. First up, Damien Fowler asks, what do you plan to be when you're older? So if you guys don't know, I am a freshman in high school, so it's kind of early in my career deciding, but I do really want to help people in some way, impacting their lives to make it better. It's just what I really want to do, and uh, that's kind of what I, I'm trying to do, something along those lines. I mean, that's a pretty vague, uh, you know, I guess what I want to do, but it's something along those lines. I also really like video editing, obviously. I, I like doing YouTube and making thumbnails and stuff, which is graphic. So as you can see, I, I've made all the special thumbnails for my specials. I think they're decent and they're not the best, but I, I do really enjoy making them and I feel like they look, you know, they look decent. Chad Anderson asks, what's your favorite and least favorite food? My favorite food is probably pizza. Pretty common favorite food, but it's pretty good, you know? And my least favorite food is probably beets or asparagus. And you may have not even heard of beets, but they're, they're like little kind of like circular um, uh, purple kind of things. I'm not really sure how to explain it there. And uh, asparagus, or the green stalks. Uh, Chad Anderson also asked if you could spend a day with any celebrity who would it be? I really don't have any preference to be with any celebrity but um, you know I, I want to be with someone maybe that would be like fun and be like kind of just chilling out maybe like doing something a little bit uh, that's uh, a little unnormal I guess I'm not really so I haven't really known but maybe like Robert Downey Jr. he seems pretty cool like a pretty cool guy and I'm not really sure exactly, I don't really have a preference, so uh, that's a pretty good question though for someone maybe that, that is more into celebrities, but I don't really care. Chad Anderson also asks, are you involved in any clubs outside of school? Now in middle school I wasn't really at all, but I uh, will be in high school and I just started, nothing really has started yet. Nothing, uh, I know sports, some sports have started, but I am not really in anything, but I have signed up for a few things like Best Buddies, which you may not have heard of, but it's basically where you go help uh, kids with uh, disabilities. And uh, I did sign up for a few other things. I kind of forgot what they were, but we'll see when I actually start sign up going into those things. So I'll talk about that maybe later. Damien Fowler asked, what is the weirdest thing you have ever seen? Which I really like this question, although, maybe think a lot and uh the weirdest stuff i've probably ever seen is you know kind of inappropriate so i'm just gonna say it. I, I was on vacation if you guys don't know in spring in uh, new orleans louisiana and uh, on the certain street bourbon street there is a lot of weird stuff so that's probably where i saw the weirdest stuff i've ever seen chad anderson asked what breed of dog that we saw what what breed of dog do you have that we sometimes hear in the background of your videos? Now, I do actually have three dogs. Two of them are Golden Doodles, which is a combination of a Golden Retriever and a um, Poodle. And I have one Schnauzer. So those are the dogs you may have heard. Chad Anderson also asked, how long does it take you to make a video approximately? And now uh, I actually take many attempts to make my videos like recording the voice for it like right now what I'd be doing if I if I mess up I probably will redo it I just want to make sure everything is perfect I'm not really a big fan of cuts so I like one solid thing of me talking perfectly I don't really like ums or anything but it sometimes happens and uh, it really gets frustrating with me because I sometimes have 20 attempts and I still don't get it right so depending on how long the video will be, it maybe it takes me about 20 to 30 minutes to actually get a recording of the video. And then editing takes me about 20 to 30 minutes. But on a normal video, it might take less. But on a Q&A video where I have to put in all the comments on the right time, that probably will take me around 45 minutes to do that. And uploading, it depends again on how long the video is. For a Q&A around 15 minutes, it'll probably be about... 30 minutes of an upload time, uh, maybe a little bit uh, more, but you know, it really depends. It doesn't take that much to be completely honest. And not too much time, especially for the suggestion videos. Aqua Strike asks, what's your favorite scene from Cars 2? I really like the scene when Mater proves Miles Astrod is guilty when he uh, deactivates the bomb. I think that's an amazing scene. It's really, you know, 
suspenseful. I really like it. Aqua Strike also asks, who's your favorite hauler? My favorite hauler is the bumper safe hauler. It was pretty rare. It was in a team set with a pity and the racer. I really like that set. Nice colors. Jedi General Kenobi asks, what was your favorite year 2016 or 2006 to 2015? I have to say 2010 was pretty good because you have all these new releases. You had so many different series going on. You had color changers, lenticulars, the, um, a bunch of stuff to be completely honest. But uh, it kind of slowed down from there and it's really starting to pick back up in 2015. I mean, look, we got Doug RM, uh, we got Larry Camper, and we got Albert Hinky all in 2015. So I think 2015 is also a pretty good year. Uh, so it's starting to pick up. Maybe 2016 will be even better. All right. Ross Cars and Planes asks, do you have any pets? As I already said, I actually have three dogs and I already listed the breeds. What, what's your favorite card back background asked by Sen, Sen 1987. So this is asking, do I like the desert card back, the supercharged racerama? I have to say, I really like the um, Racerama. I mean, it was a nice, there was a bunch of fans in the background, it kind of looked like it was bright. I really did like that, but I do also really like the 2015 background as well because, you know, you have it and kind of, it's, really, it's a really nice looking card to be honest. Um, Diogo Kalinas, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Sorry if I did not ask cars or planes. Cars, definitely. I know Planes has had two movies along with Cars has had two movies as well. But I definitely like Cars better because they're, you know, I, they, I just feel like they're, more effort was put into the Cars movie. But, um, Planes, you know, I know effort was put into those movies. But one thing, Planes aren't Pixar, they're Disney Toon Studios. Cars are Pixar. So I definitely would choose Cars, uh, so you guys would probably as well. I know a lot of people are more of a Cars fan than a Planes fan, but Planes did have some awesome diecasts in it. Ross Cars and Planes asks, what's your favorite Palace Chaos car from this year or 2013? I have to say Manny Rodriguez, he looks so good. I love his color and his expression looking to the right is really nice. I have to say he is one of my favorites. I also really like Maurice Welks. Definitely Manny or Maurice Welks. Good question. David Mackin asks, what would be your favorite diecast that you have? Now, this always changes personally for me between whatever's coming out, whatever's new, uh, you know, whatever I see or something. I don't know. But personally, my favorite would be Albert Hinky here or one of the RVs that you see in front of you, uh, especially these three because they, they are brand new basically. In the last few months, they have been released. I think they are really nice looking, they're RVs and they're really cool. So that those would definitely be my favorites currently, but as I said, it, would, it always changes for me. Ross Cars and Planes asks, what's your favorite car from the 2012 poster? And my favorite car would probably be Cartney Breaking, which is the Lightning McQueen fan with all the doodads on him and the big lightning bolt sticking up. Or Fabrizio, he looks pretty cool because he's got, you know, the um, sunglasses on, which looks really nice. So that would definitely be my favorite from the 2012 poster, but that was definitely one of the worst years for cars because of distribution. So thank you guys for watching this Q&A. That was all 16 questions. I do believe I answered all of the questions, and I'm just going to double check, make sure I did. And I hope you guys did enjoy this Q&A and look forward to the next Q&A. Hopefully I'll be able to get in a lot more questions for that Q&A. Hopefully around 25 to 30 as I said. So thank you guys for watching this q and I'll see you guys next time for tomorrow. Suggestion video time. See you guys then. Bye now.